Now, this next fight is very kindly sponsored by B2 Eco Solutions. This is our first title fight of the night. Three three-minute rounds for the CSFC Amateur Lightweight MMA title. We welcome to the cage first, the challenger from DMAC, right here in Doncaster, Danny Ball! champion from CMMA, also in Doncaster, Richard Herbert! <laughs> Introducing to you firstly in the red corner, the challenger wearing white shorts trimmed with black from DMAC right here in Doncaster, Danny. And here's our opponent across the cage in the blue corner wearing black shorts. He comes to the cage as the champion from CMMA, also in Doncaster, Richard Herbert. This is three three-minute rounds for the CSFC Amateur Lightweight MMA title. So we've got a, an amateur lightweight title fight here between we've got Richard Herbert from uh, Charles Martin Martial Arts defending his title against Danny Ball from Doncaster Martial Arts Centre. Both, of course, based in Doncaster. The crowd has gone absolutely crazy for this fight. Jay, what can we expect from this? Well, if the fight lives up to uh, what the crowd think, then I think it'll be crazy. Ball coming out with the spinning kicks already. 
He's got him backed up against the case. Nice body kick there from Ball as well. Yeah, and he's coming out really active. I think the crowd has spurred him on. You know, absolutely excited, and the atmosphere was electric so far. Oh, a nice spinning wheel kick to the head from uh, from Ball. Herbert gets the takedown off the back of it, though. Maybe just one too many. Yeah, and he's he's gone straight into Bull. Bull's managed to pull guard. Ball has very good submissions from here, though. He's great off his back, good arm bars. Uh, we've seen him in this position a few times. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of time left in this title fight. You can hear the corner shouting there as well. Herbert's looking composed, just looking to land a, uh, land a few strikes, and Bull's looking to try and shut him down, really, and, and, and put, stop the offence. See him climbing up for the arm bar, but Herbert postures out of it. And there's some nice punches there, isn't he? Yeah. Nice kick to the belly there from Ball as well to get a bit of space. Triangle possibly. Double yeah, unders though. Nice yeah. double under pass from Herbert. He sends that triangle coming and, and pummeled that other hand in. That's exactly what he needs to do. And he's gone straight into side, side control there now. So nice, nice move there by the defending champ Herbert as he moves into side control. Yeah, and he uh, he won the belt back in December over Nick Lean and it was a very good win for him. Uh, and he got another win at Fight UK just uh, about a month ago. Uh, another submission win. He's put, gone straight to full mount there. He's got his leg caught a little bit. Yeah, a bit of a, a quarter guard position there for Danny Ball. It might be enough for him just to manoeuvre to the half guard. Now he's pulled for it. He's reversed him, look. Good reversal there by Ball, but Herbert takes it straight back again, doesn't he? Yeah, Ball, Ball's pulled guard, though. Again, uh, Ball seems quite content in the guard. But, you know, he, while everyone on the bottom, he, he, you're losing fights unless you're scoring that submission, of course. It was a good uh, little, little exchange there, though, with a the, with the sweep, going from back, back to forward again. Yeah, both of these guys are, are very good amateurs. Ball undefeated thus far, 4-0. Uh, Herbert's had more fights. He, he's had a couple of losses, but he's had more fights, more wins as well. It's a, it's a great matchup. We've got a full mount there, there. Herbert's got, again, he's got his foot put in, but he's gone... He's gone back to half guard now. Uh, Ball's managed to get Herbert back into his half guard. Yeah, Ball very savvy on the bottom. He's not taking much punishment at all. He's been mounted twice. He's, he's got the guard back. And he hasn't eaten any big shots. No, he's not staying mounted for long, is he? He's, uh, he's, uh, he's getting back to his uh, half guard within seconds of being mounted. It's very impressive. I've done a few hammer fists there for, uh, for Herbert. But yeah, there's not much of any venom though. He landed a, a good right hand there, but he's, he's spent most of the round on top. But there's not really been any significant strikes thus far. But yeah. certainly enough to win the round. Yeah, good first round in for the defending champions. He's walking around the ring with his uh, arms up. He's not he won it yet. <laughs> Where's he going? But that's one round in the bag. And uh, yeah, he's definitely pumped his, the herbalizer. I, think the, uh, I won't speculate as to why they call him the herbalizer. <laughs> I think the corner are trying to calm him down a little bit. He was about to do a lap of honour, I think. Yeah, I mean, you can understand he's defending his title. He's had a good first round. The crowd is absolutely electric and, you know, it, it's lifting him. Yeah, the atmosphere in here is absolutely amazing. It's good, good to see him so excited. I think what... What would really tee this up is uh, if we see Ball coming out on the offence in round two and, uh, you know, see him really take it to Herbert after losing that first round. When he come out in the first two, some nice kicks, he just needs to maybe be a little bit more composed and do a bit more to keep the fight standing. Yeah, you know, he really committed to them kicks, but he didn't throw any punches behind him. He didn't really set them up, which allowed Herbert to time it and hit that round takedown. Two. Yeah, Herbert didn't seem too keen on the stomach in the first round, though. Just to see what Ball can do here. Nice, right to the body and followed by a head kick. He's spinning again, look. Oh, he's, back, he's put himself on the floor there. Yeah, and, you know, it's, I suppose live by the sword, die by the sword. He, he wants to throw them kicks and they are effective when they land, but they can put you in a bad position. Nice control there from the wizard by Herbert. Has Ball got the uh, arm there? He, no, he's been, he's been mounted again. But we've seen him... We've seen Ball escape them out a few times. Is, is he doing it again? He's got the foot back in. Yeah, good, good technical escape, getting, uh, dragging the leg, getting back to that quarter guard to help him uh, work his way back to the half guard. He's, he's a good grappler, good on the bottom, but he's, he's mounted, mounted again. Mounted again, yeah. He seemed to go for the arm, but he seemed to go for the arm he's, and then go for the for the full mount. But again, uh, Ball is getting his uh, foot back in there again. 
Yeah, but it's just constant uh, defend tactics thus far for uh, Danny Ball. Yeah, I mean, if this goes the same way as the uh, first round, which is what it's heading like at the moment, he's going to leave himself with a lot to do in that third round. Yeah, and, you know, you can see with his power and speed, he, he does have the tools to finish fights, but nobody wants to be two rounds down needing a finish in the third with all that extra pressure. Needs to work a little bit maybe on his composure in the stand-up and not take so many risks, set the risks up a bit more. But Herbert's got himself into, into side control now. I wonder if he'll want to mount, because every time he mounts he loses position, so maybe he'll work from side control instead. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to trap that arm. It's always a good position. He's got a nice tight underhook, heavy hips. Ball's done it again though, hasn't he? He's got himself back to half guard. Yeah, he's got himself back to half guard. Nice cross face there from Herbert, who's looking to free that leg. And this is, uh, you know, by far the toughest fight Ball's been in. He's just looking at the arm now, I think he's going to look for a Kimura. He's still in the half guard, so he can... No, he's let the Kimura go now, he's throwing a few body shots instead. And the crowd getting behind Danny Ball now. Yeah. He certainly seems to have the... the, the two Doncaster fighters, he certainly seems to have the crowd on his side, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a popular figure. Sure he's on... Um, Britain's Got Talent, I believe. <laughs> and that, that's, that's true, actually. I think he's a dancer or some sort of acrobatics, but yeah, back to the fight. I mean, you can sort of tell that in the fight, the way he throws them kicks and the, the way he moves. Yeah, he's certainly very acrobatic. But Herbert's controlling at the moment. I mean, he's he's won the first round, he's, he's controlling them on the second round. Yeah, and 10 seconds left, and again, this round has been all Herbert. And uh, as he nearly mounted him, he's got his foot, he's got that quarter guard still, but he's controlling him again. He's going he's, he's gonna to take that second round, isn't he? Herbert happy again, going back to his corner, his hands raised. He knows he's two rounds to the good. Yeah, he's letting the judges know that he's two rounds to the good as well. What's Danny Ball got to do different than Jay going to the third round? Well, you see, every time he's been taken down, he's, he's thrown the spinning kicks, he's thrown one, and then he's thrown a second, and then he's thrown a third. Straight after one another with no punches in between, no setups, no feints, and that's just given... Uh, Herbert the time to counter it with a takedown and every time he's got on top he's just been far too controlling and his uh, you know his positional work has been you know on point definitely what I'd like to see Ball do is uh, throw the hands a little bit more maybe throw the kicks but you know mix it up within the combinations and because obviously what he's tried so far hasn't worked so definitely go behind the punches a little bit more and try and take his time it doesn't have to be three, four spinning kicks in a row. Yeah, there's too much risk at the moment. The not third and final round. And neither go. man wants to lose in front of the home crowd. Oh, head kick punches, he looks good, doesn't he? Yeah, but he's just, he's a little bit overcommitted with him punches. He nearly swore, oh, he's got triangle. the triangle choke. He's going to switch to the armbar. Arm and that might be, that looks tight. He gets his uh, left leg over the head. Is he going to pop out? I think Herbert's going to pop out. Uh, that elbow's through now as well. Is he going to go for the leg? And he's going to get on top. Wow, that was very close, wasn't it? Yeah, and Danny Ball, you know, he is a threat off his back from that full guard, as we've seen there. Nice sweep there from uh, Ball as well, getting off his back. He's back on his back now. He's kind of in the north-south position there, Herbert. Yeah, he's got so, control than anything. So a, a little glimpse of that, that Ball brilliance. But it wasn't going to be enough, and um, again, Herbert, you've seen how, how tight and how heavy he is on the top, and uh, Ball just hasn't had any answers for it. And he's moving himself around the top. Is he, is he going to go for the arm? It's hard to see what he's setting up to do, whether he just wants to look for ground and pad. He seems to want to work to the top of North South position, doesn't he? Yeah, he's not giving anything up. You know, at this point in the fight, he doesn't need to go for anything stupid and lose his position. He's up, he's winning the fight, he's defending his belt. He's got no reason to go for anything crazy that, that might see him end up on the bottom or might see Ball escape back to the feet. He's more than content to be on top and be winning the round from here. Yeah, he's just working positions at the moment and Ball is trying to shake him off, but Herbert's just like you say, he's too, he's too tight on the top and he's just, he's literally just pinned him down to the mat. Yeah, just great positional control. 
you know, nothing more, nothing less. He, he's not really landing any strikes. Uh, but ball has got no exit because you know Herbert's just doing a, a great job at controlling him from the top. It's not a kind of the position the ref can stand up from as well because he is in a dominant position, isn't he? Yeah, it's certainly harder. You know, if you had this kind of action inside the guard, it'd be a stand up. But because uh, Herbert's past the guard, you know, he's and gone for the mount there, look. Half guard for Ball. Yeah, he's managed to get his leg in. That's what Ball's been doing the whole fight, hasn't he? He seems happy to be one on top, one on the bottom, both trading here. Yeah, you're not going to get much in them shots from the bottom, but I just think Ball maybe doesn't have too many more ideas. Herbert has just been, you know, he's been like a bag of sand on top of him. He's been like a, a blanket shutting him out. Yeah, the grappling certainly been the uh, the difference in this fight. The grappling in the ground game of Richard Herbert. He's in crew control now to defend this title. I think he's he's happy to just throw strikes in the half guard. We've got the 10 second 10 seconds left now, and this is going to be a shutout for Richard Herbert to retain his uh, amateur lightweight title. And he passes into side control as well at the end of the fight. Yeah, we're going to go to the judges, Ray, but I don't think there's uh, going to be too many qualms about how they see this one. No, I agree. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, just while our judges total up their scorecards, can you please put your hands together for both fighters? Also, a big round of applause as we welcome into the cage to make the belt presentation, co-promoter this evening, Dom Gibbs. Ladies and gentlemen, after three scintillating rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards. We have a unanimous decision, all three judges, scoring the contest in favour of your winner. And still, CSFC amateur lightweight champion from CMMA Doncaster, Richard Herbert! Could you please continue that applause for a great opponent from DMAC Doncaster, Danny Ball!